So do you have a lot of basil in the garden and want to dry some for the winter? Today I'd like to share with you a super easy method for making your very own dried basil from your garden in four easy steps. All right, step one is you're going to go out in the garden and you're going to collect your basil. So I did that. Um, you can give it a rinse. And then step two is we're just going to lay it on a dehydrator rack. So what I've picked here is just the, the stems in the top. And we're just going to lay this out on a rack. Oh, it smells really good. And it can be a little piled up. It's fine to do that. Okay, so use as many racks as you need. And then you're going to take this and you're going to put it on your dehydrator. And I like to dry the herbs at 140 degrees for four hours until they're crispy. All right, step three, the basil is now off of the dehydrator rack. You can hear that it's crunchy. So what I want to do with this is I'm actually just going to start by putting it in this bowl. And is it crunchy? That's perfect. Gather that up. Okay, that's in a bowl. And then you're just going to crunch it by hand and get that down to a size that you want. Oh man, that smells good. Smells like licorice right now. Okay, and then if you want it super fine, you can just take a sieve and you run it through the sieve. Let me grab a plate. And just rub that with your hand, your knuckles. That way you get all the big stems and stuff out. Okay, and this is what you have left. You have a very fine basil powder that you can use in all your cooking. All right, number four is store in an airtight jar, and you can store it in a jar for up to eight months. And if you wanted to store the basil for a longer time period, then just put the jar in the freezer. So if you'd like to get a dehydrator like the one that I'm using, I highly recommend the Kasori Food Dehydrator. Um, I've owned this for two years, and what I did is I replaced my old round dehydrator with it. I love the new bigger square rack dehydrator. I mean, it gets used every day, and we dry veggies, fruit, and meat on it. And if you're interested, there's a link in the description below that you can follow so that you can get this dehydrator. So uh, with a little garden basil and a dehydrator, you can make wonderful basil for uh, your kitchen pantry, and it's really super easy. Thanks for watching.